Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day. I'm Dr. Aizuddin bin Supi and this is my assistant engineer, Ms. Saipura Binti Ahmad. Various substances are transported and distributed in piping system every single day, including the water, solvents, chemicals, oil and gas, as well as steam for the energy transmission purposes. The grid flowing through pipes often have completely different properties. Therefore, different principles for their measurement are needed. One method is flow measurement based on the differential pressure principle. Why this flow measurement is important? Basically, flow measurement assists in analyzing the system in terms of consumption and leak detection and enables to reduce the energy consumption and cost. Bernoulli has discovered the relationship between the pressure and velocity of a fluid flowing in a pipe whereby an increase in velocity results in decrease in pressure. In our flow measurement experiments, we will focus on differential pressure flow meters named as orifice, nozzle and ventry and water will be used as fluid flowing medium. This experiment aims to compare the discharge coefficient of different types of flow measurement methods. Those above mentioned flow meters apply the similar concept whereby the changes in velocity for the water will occur with changes in cross-sectional area and hence affects the differential pressure between two measured points based on the recorded values of differential pressure between two points and known parameters of cross-sectional area and water density the theoretical flow rate of water can be calculated using the Bernoulli and continuity equation the discharge coefficient for each flow meters can be obtained by using the ratio of actual flow rate measured using the rotameter to the theoretical flow rate of water Let me introduce main components for this experiment. This is the main switch box and low control bar. The location for the water inlet is here and for the water outlet is here. This is multi tube manometer used to measure the pressure pressure between the inlet and outlet of the flow meters. This is ventilation valve. The location of orifice plate and nozzle is here and ventrimeter is here. This is the rotameter used to obtain the actual flow rate of water. This is the gate Valve. This is the sum tank.
with this experiment you could compare the accuracy of each flow meters by using the calculated discharge coefficient values and finally make conclusion on which flow meter could result in higher accuracy.